Hello YouTube, it's Coach Richard J here. Hope you guys have a great day. New video for all you guys today. Um, brand new video. Um, if you, as you can see, I am in my brand new apartment. Um, yes, it looks nice. I appreciate uh, the feedback. Um, I do appreciate that I'm here back at it you guys now i can actually focus on more on content for you guys now and brainstorming and all that kind of stuff um but i'm very very i just want to say to everyone that i am very happy um there's a lot of things that came into my life that um that i could have been ready for but i didn't want to make those choices yet because um I wanted to stick of doing something that I want to do to create, to make, to build my, to build my audience up to where I can be able to travel full time, be able to do a lot of things that I still want to do. Uh, I'm 28 years old. Um, I still want to do a lot of big things to go see the world that we live in today because it, it it's, it's where I want to go. It's where I want to be. And I've been working hard for the last three or four or five years to try to get those those these numbers up and um, keep pushing those numbers and try to get me to where I want to go. Well, as you all know, I've been a streamer and gamer a long time ago. I've been focusing on gaming and streaming ever since um, Twitch and Justin.TV was brought up. I mean, I may been under different types of names and stuff like that, but I just, you know, I've decided to be called Richie J because, you know, my last, first name is Richard and my last name is Jackson. So, Richie R.J. or something like that. But um, you can call me Coach. I like to be called Coach because I coach a lot of things, um, especially in the gaming and streaming world. Um, I'm still trying to get better at more of my um, audio and visuals and performance and stuff like that to get better at those kind of skills to make those look nice and and build those skills better so we can we can have more uh more videos for you guys uh but there's gonna be plenty of videos for you guys this this week it, and well not just this week but there's gonna be plenty of videos coming to this channel now since i am very happy my space that i'm in I'm very happy where I'm at. Um, I like my apart brand new apartment. It's such a blessing to have, to be here, and um, I just it's it's a really blessing to me. And, and I want to thank my family, my my, my family, uh, my grandparents. Uh, um, even though they've had they they went through some rough times, but I love them half to death, and they're always still going to be with me no matter what I do in this world. So. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel confident back, confident back of what I used to be, because I remember working retail when I was working um, regular retail industry and stuff like that. I found out what my talents were. I I picked and choose and I wrote them down. What I can do, what I how how often can I sell, uh, act and create. I I, I diagnosed myself on those talents and I'm really good to those talents and stuff like that. Um, and, and as you can see, I'm pretty good with technology. Um, we live in a digital age and a lot of people don't understand about the digital age either. And a lot of older folks don't understand about the digital age and, and it's challenging. Yes, it is. But it, it, you start, once you get into it, you start learning new things. You'll make mistakes, but you'll learn new things no matter what. But, um, as many of you guys know, it's been a, it's not been a struggle for my channel brand or anything like that. It's just been, um, it's just been, um, very, very challenging to bring back to the way, the way I want it because I was creating content out of the blue. Um, you know, after my grandmother died, I had to do anything else to put myself out there. I, I had to make it, I had to put everything out there. Go out as fullest, you know, I didn't even really care. So that's when our, how it originally started my YouTube channel. And um, I still enjoy it to this day and I always will. Um, another, another, th another thing is too, 
Um, anxiety is really, really, really anxiety problems. I have been having seriously on. It's very weird when I when I try to speak. I don't know why, but anxiety is one of my biggest, biggest, biggest problems. I think, and I think it's what bothers me to do to not choose to go do things in the world. Um, it, possibly it could have been a trigger when I was when my grandmother died. It possibly could have been a trigger. You know, you know things can happen to you mentally. Um, mentally, if um, if it pulls the right trigger enough to somebody that's been in your life for a long time, it can trigger your, you can trigger emotions from that. So that's what that's what I've went through for over the years. And um, right now, my, my I'm trying I'm proving my dad that I can live on my own. It's not that difficult to live on live on your own. It's really not difficult. You just gotta save money and stuff like that. It's really not that hard. Um, I, I didn't want to move out until... Uh, it's not just moving out. I mean, it's not even that. I'm on a bigger mission. And and I'm going to tell you this. There's a lot of people... I'm on a bigger mission right now that... You know, I'm on a bigger mission for my mother. I'm on a bigger mission for my family and stuff like that. And, and, and I'm getting... I'm running into a lot of people that just think I'm like very, very, very dishonest uh, or something like that. Uh, I'm not very dishonest. I'm very respectful. I'm very, very kind, but I'm also too nice. And um, there's also being too nice can be an issue too as well. But I know I'm kind and all that, but everybody wants to get their way and, and I don't, that's not the way the world works. You don't just go out there and, on and get your way in front of things. You have to earn them. You have to work hard for them. You have to build those relationships. You have to connect with those relationships. It's all about connections. So, as I've been growing for last, let's see, I'm 28 now. I'm 28 years old, single still, not married, no kids, and still live a happy life. <clears throat> Everybody should deserve that. Everybody. There should be no sad stories. Um, and then other than COVID hit. Don't know what the deal was deal with that. I don't understand COVID, but which was strange. Um, most likely, guys. I'm making this video because the coach is back. The coach is ready for the new adventure. And um, I'm super excited for it. I don't know what some videos, what we can create and stuff like that. Um, I'm really, really, really super excited for it. Because we don't know what we're going to create. We're going to create something fantastic, maybe awesome. I'm gonna get back started what I what what I've created what I originally started because I, I've been I've been building my process for years and years and years for my business the way I want it to run. And as a business person that's starting out a business, let me let me let me tell you, I do not care. I care less for what degree you have. I care less what certificate you have. I care less what you have. It's not that stuff is not important to me. What's important to me is how you present present it to others. Present your skills to others is what's important to me. I don't care if you got a big certificate or whatever. I don't care if you got that certificate. I don't care if you got you getting you went to a college or or something like that. Um, what's really important is is the way you present it to people. And um, honestly, I was very, very, when I was in high school, I was very, very judged. Not just high school, but I'm, I'm, the high school stuff is over with. Now, that's, that high school stuff is following me in my adult life, and I'm not, I'm not letting that happen. So whoever you are that's watching my videos and stuff, please... Learn to have respect. 
And um, when somebody offers you something, um, take advantage of it. You know, when somebody offers you something to help you big grow, take advantage of it. It's an opportunity. So no matter what, there's opportunities that pop up anywhere. You gotta keep your eyes open for it. There's so many opportunities I mi missed when I was working retail before. When I was working retail, I missed so many opportunities to to grow to grow into life and stuff like that and everything. And but I skipped out on it because I I think you learn more. You I think you need to learn a little bit in your 20s before you make big decisions. Because because uh, I think that's what my mindset is. 28, I think 28 is a good level to make a big decision instead of 25. Because when you're 25, your, your brain fully develops. So, and there's a lot of studies out there, college studies, uh, that your brain fully develops at age 25. But what I'm what I'm getting is, guys, I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I'm very happy in my like my space, the way my space is. Um, I'm very. I'm getting ready to get start creative, creating new ideas. Uh, it's going to be super great. I will have a tech. I'm going to be having a tech channel soon, guys. But uh, my tech channel, I'm still working on the designs for that. So um, it's. I haven't figured out. I'm still working on a name. And once I once the name is get created, I'm still I'm gonna be working on the design for it. And then um, it'll be a new thing. New kind of, it'll be a channel where we can discuss a lot of things on computer stuff because there's a lot of folks out there that I realize that just they're not good with tech. And I'm trying to be, trying to be a leader in it and, you know, how to protect yourself from this online digital age. Um, there's a lot of things out there. There's a lot of products out there. That'll protect you from this online digital age. Um, it varies. So, it, it varies on the point where you're at. But, um, as many as you know, as many as you as many as you guys know that I'm super excited to make this video for you guys because I'm glad that I'm very very much back. So. Pretty much back. Um, <clears throat> I'm super happy about it, but at the other end, sometimes I, I get a little tired more. Um, third shift is really, really killing me. Um, hitting me hard on certain nights but I mean yeah, it's working but I'm trying to balance I'm trying to find that job that works that has a work life balance kind of thing you know what I mean I can, so I can work from home and do all my other things that I'm still working on doing you know I like to go to work from home because um, I can go do the things I love to do I want to go do the things I love to do because it is my choice that I made. You know, I make those choices. Those choices are mine. You know, I, you have to respect those. I don't <clears throat> don't care what you guys go do. But I'm happy where I'm at. I'm enjoying my new apartment, guys. It's super nice, super cool, and then, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, It has its it has its value. Um, kitchen's real nice. The front room's real good. You can put a lot of exercise equipment back there. You know, I still play still pretty fit. I still stay pretty fit, guys. It's not really that difficult to eat your broccoli and greens. I know how to cook. I know how to do all these other things. 
But I do. The one thing, the one thing it always gets me, guys, is I do get a lot of headaches, and it hurts a bunch. Um, probably because I haven't had enough sleep today. But um, when you get these, like when you get these headaches, it's kind of strange at times. But my head gets a little headache sometimes. But uh, yeah. I'm going to close this out.